The teaching innovation that I'm talking about was something that we introduced for a course on data governance, privacy, openness, and transparency. And this is a course that students get really, really interested in and they write an essay on a topic of their own choosing. And what we found was that in many cases, students, when writing the essay, basically ran up to one of two things, either the 5,000 word limit or the deadline for submission. And although they'd done lots of good research and really understood that their, their particular chosen topic, the essays often just stopped. They didn't come with a full narrative arc to a conclusion and a clear argument based on what they had been reading and presenting. So this was clearly an issue about the structure of the essay rather than the content. The content they got, but they'd got so excited with the content that they'd lost track of the structure. So a few years ago, we got them to do a short preliminary assignment, kind of in the style of a magazine article, say for The Economist, which would focus more on the point, the argument that they were making than the academic conventions for the main essay. And every year we would get them, we would describe this assignment as kind of like a magazine piece for The Economist or like a blog post. And the more times we said it was like a blog post, we thought, well, why don't we actually make it? into a blog post. So the assignment became a writing a blog that kind of gave the key points of their argument, their argument structure, that they would then use as a basis, hopefully, for their final essay. So they'd get the argument structure sorted out and then expand it to the full uh, essay. The reason for going for a blog was primarily because it is a different genre of writing so that they don't have to worry about the traditional academic traditions. And then by hosting it on a blogging platform, we could then also add in the feedback capabilities that a blogging function provides. So all students receive two sets of feedback from their fellow students. And then using exactly the same commenting capability, the markers also gave their feedback on the blogs in the form of comments as well. The writing for a generalist audience, I think, is an, an increasingly important academic skill. It's certainly a key feature for many impact type activities where you do have to present your material to someone who wants to know what do I need to do, not give me the entire back history and all of the sub-arguments that have, have been developed. And a number of other colleagues already in the department are basically adopting the same uh, approach. We've been sharing documentation about how to prepare a blog, how to post the blog, how to provide comments, etc. There were a lot of very positive comments about how the whole blogging process and the idea of working on the essay uh, argument rather than worrying about the structure became particularly helpful for them. This year where they've already had two sets of feedbacks from fellow students rather than just one plus Marker's comments as well, hopefully the essays will be even better than they have been in previous years. We've certainly found that adding this preliminary exercise to think about the argument structure does have a significant impact on the overall narrative arc of, of the final essays. And I think this is just something that's going to get better and better.